Dive into the simple usefulness of the blur filter by spinning a brush and creating a quick and easy photo mask. This video is being filmed in Photoshop Elements, but the instructions are exactly the same for Adobe Photoshop, except where noted. I've begun by creating a 12 by 12 inch document at 300 pixels per inch with a white background. Then press the letter D to reset the color chips to the default of black over white. The first step is to brush on a new layer. In the Layers panel, click on the Create a New Layer icon, and then double click directly on the name of the new layer, and we'll rename it Brush. Get the Brush tool, and in the Tool Options, open the Brush Picker, then open the drop-down menu, and choose Thick Heavy Brushes. Then click to choose the Rough Flat Bristle Brush. If you're using Adobe Photoshop, you'll find this brush in the Legacy Brushes. Next, we'll set the size of this brush to 2000 pixels. Set the mode to Normal, the opacity to 100%, and in Photoshop, you would also need to set the flow to 100%. And then on the document, click in the center and drag slightly to the left, then back to the center, then slightly to the right, and then back to the center again. And then the next step is to give this brush a little spin. Press Ctrl J, Command J on a Mac to duplicate the brush layer. And then in the Layers panel, double click directly on the name of this new layer and rename it Spin. In the menu bar, choose Filter, Blur, Radial Blur. And then in the dialog box, set the amount to 10, the blur method to Spin, and the quality to Draft. And then click OK. Using the draft setting will add noise to the mask, giving it additional character. In the Layers panel, click on the visibility icon of the brush layer to hide it. You can use this brush layer later to create additional variations of this same technique. Here's what my image looks like after clipping a photo to the mask. You'll find specific instructions for how to do that and all the other things mentioned in this video in the manual for this tutorial. If you're interested in taking this tutorial further, you'll also find suggestions in the manual for altering the look of your spinned mask. After practicing this technique, I recommend that you take things a step further and try the tutorial with a couple different brushes. I think you'll be surprised at what you can come up with. So that's one way you can create a quick and easy photo mask with a brush and the blur filter. This has been Jen White with Digital Scrapper.